please don't let a bad IVF clinic mess up your chances of getting pregnant. We all know that IVF doesn't have 100% success rates and there are some biological variables which aren't in our control so that if you're older, your equality is declined, you have poor ovarian reserve, you know that your chances of getting pregnant with IVF are going to be less than a younger woman with good ovarian reserve. But the one thing which is in your control is to choose a good IVF clinic, someone who can treat you properly, who has good quality embryologists, a great IVF lab and a good clinician who can super ovulate you to maximize the number of eggs you grow and maximize the number of good quality blastocysts we can make for you. Now, every patient feels that the IVF clinic they're going to is a good clinic. Otherwise, no one would ever go to that clinic. That's common sense. But the reality is that not all clinics are created equal. And it often breaks my heart when we see patients who've had such a good chance of getting pregnant reduce their chances because they've gone to a bad clinic where the doctor didn't know how to super ovulate them or the embryologist didn't know how to grow the embryos in the lab, as a result of which their chances go down dramatically simply because the clinic was bad. And to add insult to injury, these bad clinics then blame the patient for the failure, saying their eggs weren't good enough or their sperms weren't good enough for some flimsy reason, which is a completely different story they spin when they actually did the first consultation. Because at the time of the first consultation, when they want you to sign up and do IVF, they promise you everything, the sky, the moon, the stars. Of course, you'll get pregnant. Your chances are very bright. And then when the cycle fails, they spin a completely different story. And instead of accepting responsibility, they blame the patient. And the one thing which you can do to reduce your chance of ending up in the hands of a bad IVF clinic is investing in information therapy because not all IVF clinics are created equal. And I'm not telling you to become an IVF doctor in order to judge which clinic is good and which is not, because all you really need to do is to ask one simple question. And the good thing is you don't even need to meet the IVF doctor to ask this question. You can ask the receptionist when you're phoning or you can actually email them and ask them, do you do only blastocyst transfers for all your patients? And do you provide embryo photos routinely to all your patients? Because the reality is good clinics are proud of the quality of medical care which they provide and they document that tangibly by giving you photos of your embryos so you can actually start your baby album. But it's the ones who hide, who lie, who say, oh, we don't take photographs, it's not good for the embryos or the camera wasn't working that particular day. You need to wonder why are they hiding information? And the reality is they're hiding information because they're not providing good quality medical care. And this is one simple step you can take to increase your chance of getting pregnant and stop bad IVF clinics from reducing your chances.